This is not a bashing video for the Wii. It's uh, for Nintendo. It's not a bashing video. Um, I grew up on Nintendo. Uh, my first, well, not my first console, but my second console was Nintendo. I had the first in Atari. And I, when I had my Nintendo, I had all type of games for it. I, I love Nintendo. Nintendo was a very good console back then. And then came the Super Nintendo, um, and then uh, Nintendo 64. I think if it, I think it's in that order or something like that. Whew, man, you know. And then you go on and fast forward to you know 2009 or whatever when the Wii came out. They went straight casual with that, straight up casual, you know the the. We fit, we sports and stuff like that. You know, that's what they did. And the console so good. It's so great. And you know, but they they was just basically sticking with the casual market, you know, they had that nunchuck thing and the weave uh tennis and bowling and stuff like that. They was just the casual market. That's what they was doing. You know, Microsoft was trying to go that way, too, with the whole Kinect thing, but it didn't work out that way, you know. I remember uh, uh, a couple of years ago when um, Microsoft basically had their, you know, they had their press conference and they was just, you know, they was just talking basically about Kinect, you know. And when that didn't work out after a while, when they seen that sales was dropping for Microsoft, they went you know, to uh, the third-party developers and went with the core gaming, you know. But anyway, let's, let's uh, you know, let's fast forward because, you know, what I'm trying to say is Nintendo is not really seeing that, you know, um, the casual gaming market, you know, it's it's not working well, you know, especially with the, uh, with the Wii U, you know. Um, it's not It's not really working well for uh third party de uh developers you know who makes games you know the core games and whatnot you know it's not working for Nintendo now because um well you know basically Nintendo wants to they wants to stick with the th uh with the casual games and all and the third party support is ain't really coming for the Wii U and N Nintendo fans are basically okay with that you know, they okay with it. Like I said, um, with the 360, you know, when they had their press conference and, and they had the Connect thing, you know, which was, to me, was the, the worst press conference ever when they had their whole Connect thing. It was the worst press conference. And, uh, you know, the t Microsoft learned from their mistake and they, and they brung out the third-party developers, but, you know. And uh, now you got all these good games, the games that was coming out for the 360, you know, and even for the Xbox One, you know what I'm saying? You know, and now it's like, they're doing good. I mean, they're doing better than Nintendo are doing, you know, as far as, well, let me say as far as the Wii U go. What's going on with Nintendo right right now? I don't understand what's really going on with Nintendo because what they're what they're doing is, they're making another console. I mean, right now, as far as Nintendo goes, you know, the 3DS is basically their money maker. It's, it's their money maker right now. You know, it's not the Wii U. And the Wii U is supposed to be the next gen console. They're supposed to have all these kind of, you know, uh, it was supposed to have the, the for the core gaming and whatnot. You know, it's supposed to be different than the Wii, but they. They they came out with the same tactics and all, and I'm thinking that this next gen console they're supposed to have the the other next gen the the NX stuff like that it's gonna be the same as the Wii U maybe even worse. I don't even understand why Nintendo is even gonna make another um, console and all when you you know when you when you're so focused on handheld why would you make another uh, uh, next gen console you know. Y'all not even working on the Wii U right now, which is, to me, is dying. It's, it really is dying. Nintendo, if you're going to go that same type of way with the NX, 
then it's going to fail just like the Wii U. It's going to fail. You know? Because before the Wii U, like I said, before the Wii U came out, they were supposed to be sticking with third party support. All those, you know, these games that are supposed to come out and all that they were showing at E3. You know, EA, you know, that was supposed that was supposed to be one of their big partners to, you know, and, and um the Wii U was supposed to have like a Madden and you know, an Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. It didn't happen. Matter of fact, Nintendo and EA right now, they're you know, as far as their partnership go, that's done. It's over. Now the Wii U is just sitting up there, and it's like, I don't understand what, what's next for the Wii U. What are you going to do? Well, I could tell you, Nintendo, you can lower the price a little bit now because there's still no good games really coming out for the Wii, you know, for the Wii U. And I, this ain't a bashing of um, video or nothing like that because... You know, we you are uh, Nintendo will always make their money. Some kind of way they'll make their money. But what I don't understand is why are you gonna make another console when when that console and trust me, it's going to happen. Okay, that console is going to be the same type of of uh, you know of what's going on with the Wii U right now. You're going to go with the same kind of tactics as what, uh, as what the Wii U. So why make another next-gen console? I just don't understand, you know. And the other thing that bothers me is that Nintendo, uh, the Wii U right now is selling at 9.5, something like that. And the Xbox One is like 12, something. It's only 3 million behind, you know, uh, the Xbox One. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy, you know. That's crazy. But, you know, I, I'm thinking the Xbox One should sell a little bit more than that. You know, a little bit more than 12-something. It should, we you should be way down somewhere. You know, it should be, their numbers shouldn't, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 like I said, this ain't a bashing video, but at the same time, the Xbox One numbers should be higher, you know. Um, I ain't going to say close to the, you know, PS4 because the PS4 is, is, I'm sorry to say, it is a better console. It is a better console. But PS4 has definitely has its problems. And then there's a lot of people right now that's damage controlling the PS4, you know, not even look. Oh, they're trying to overlook the the hacks and stuff that happens on the PS4. They're trying to look overlook that, you know. If, if. Okay, but that's another. That's for another video. Um, Nintendo, I I want to one day buy the console like I used to when I had all the other consoles before. But you have to have the games that I would like to play. I want to play some some good games that will make me, um, you know, buy a a a, a the Wii U or something like that. You know. I'm not really into the whole tablet thing, but if NX come out, you know, and they do have like, you know, a good controller and all, and they have some kind of games, you know, for, for games that, you know, that I like, like uh, first person shooters and stuff like that with uh, multiplayer, and this is the one thing. And this is the reason why, the main reason why I'm making this video. Nintendo, if you are going to make another console, make sure to have the online functionality. Okay? There, this is 2015. I know your console is probably going to be coming out in 2016. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay? In 2016, all consoles should have a steady stream of online functionality. There should be no reason why a functionality in HD, okay? Online functionality in HD should be standard, okay, when you make a console. That should be standard. I don't even know why the Wii didn't have HD. The Wii should have had HD. The, the first Wii should have had HD, okay? But if you're going to make another console, Nintendo, online functionality should be a must and voice chat. Okay, you should have voice chat in every game. Xbox One has it. PS4 has it. Okay, 
Matter of fact, let me go back further. Xbox 360, PS3. Okay? I think even the original Xbox and uh, if I'm not mistaken, maybe not PS2. Maybe it was PS2. I think PS2 had uh, uh, voice chat too. And they had online functionality. You know? So, when you make this NX, if you don't want it to be an epic fail, okay, on which I see it happening, because Nintendo is all about themselves. They, they think that whatever they push out is a wonderful, great idea, and their fans are just going to soak it all up without any complaints. If you're going to make another console, and you're going to make it like the Wii U, you know, then it's no sense of making another next-gen console. Another next-gen next, next gen console. I don't know the, uh, a second next-gen console, whatever. You know, just don't even make it if you're not going to have the online functionality, if you're not going to have voice chat for all games, and if you're not going to have um, um, online chat, um, on the voice chat, online functionality, and there was something else. I, I forgot what it was. But if you're going, if you're going to make another console like the Wii U, then just don't even, don't even bother with it. Don't even. Oh, and and core and you know third party support. Okay, you need third party support for your codename NX console. You need third party support. Okay. But I see. The way Nintendo working right now, and the way that they're flagging, uh, uh, you know, or they're taking down videos, you know, if anybody makes like a Wii U um, gameplay video, they're taking it down and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to do that for a next-gen console, if you're going to continue on to that path, well, that's, that's advertisement. That's free advertisement. That means people will go out, if they like a game, they will go out and they will buy a Wii U. Okay? They will buy the game for the Wii U. But if you're going to keep flagging videos, and I'm, I'm not flagging, but if you're going to keep taking down videos, matching third-party support, or uh, match, you know, third-party third, third party content and stuff like that, if you're going to take down videos like that, you don't have advertising right now. You don't have no kind of marketing for the Wii U. You have none. That's why I barely uh, uh, there's you know a lot not a lot of people don't know about it. I mean Microsoft they have you know their uh, marketing and, and uh, advertising with the Xbox One, PS4 does too. But the you know only the Nintendo fans you know really know about the Wii U. You know what I'm saying? But the rest of the world don't really know about it because there's, there's no advertising. And that's another thing. If you want your NX, your codename NX console to sell, you need some more advertising. You need more advertising because this thing is going to fail if you don't have advertising, you don't have third-party support, you don't have voice chat, and you don't have online functionality. You need all of that to have a successful next-gen console. The Wii U was not it. It's still not it today. This ain't a bashing video. This is more like a, I don't know what you call it, constructive criticism. Everybody needs it sometimes. Everybody needs a little bit of constructive criticism. So don't make Codename NX like the Wii U or you're going to see another failed console. And I see it happening. I see it happening because Nintendo are too stuck on themselves. They, they, they don't listen to their fans. They do not listen to their fans and that is the problem. Your, ne your next gen console is going to fail because you don't listen to your fans. And you need to do that. Constructive criticism is always good for anybody. So, anyway, that's just my thoughts. And, uh, you know, I hope Nintendo does good, but I don't see it. I don't see it. All right, so this is the bear, and I'm out. Peace.